the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 189, Isaiah 43-45 Do not praise false gods. Because of God's love that set up Israel again at his people, South Judah that had sinned enormously would receive forgiveness and be given hope again. First point, Isaiah told South Judah that God was their only salvation and that they were God's witness. The reason God called Abraham's descendants my possession was firstly because he created them. The second was because he selected them. The third was because God called unto them. Hence, God regarded the people of South Judah with a great deal of love and he promised them that they would be able to return from Babylon captivity. This promise can be traced back to Deuteronomy. And the Lord has declared this day that you are his people, his treasured possession, as he promised, and that you are to keep all his commands. He has declared that he will send you in praises, fame and honor high above all the nations he has made, and that you will be a people holy to the Lord your God as he promised. The relationship between God and South Judah were inseparable. In reality, the people of South Judah did not contribute much in this relationship. This relationship was maintained through God's grace. Through this grace, God had promised them their restoration after Babylon captivity. Thus, South Judah was to be God's witness. Second point, God's people will be renewed after singing God's praises. God told Isaiah of his plans. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness and the streams in the wasteland. The reason why God created humans was so that they can continue God's new work. Through Isaiah, God said that although the people had sinned, God would forgive them nevertheless. If it was not for God's deep mercy and love, how could humans continue on living? God punished the people according to their sin and then restored them. The punishment for South Judah was Babylon captivity. God had warned of the stages of punishment according to a kingdom of priests back when he made the covenant with them and now it was really time for the third level of punishment. Your first father sinned. Those I sent to teach you leveled against me. So I disgraced the dignitaries of your temple. I consigned Jacob to destruction and Israel to scorn. Third point, Isaiah warned the people to stop serving idols and to return to God. God gave the promise to the people of South Judah through Isaiah that he would protect them. We can see just how deeply God loved Abraham's descendants through the Bible. The first was my servant Jacob. The name Jacob meant grabbing unto the hill. The second was my chosen Israel. Israel meant with God. The third was Joshua, whom I chose. Joshua was one who was righteous and obedient to God. In Isaiah chapter 44, another name for God appears. This is the King of Israel, the Savior of Israel, Savior of Israel, God the Creator, and so on. Isaiah, moreover, refers to God as Israel's Savior, the Porter, Lord of all the land, our Father, and beyond. Through Isaiah, God spoke about those who made idols, who shapes a God and casts an idol which can profit nothing. People who do that will be put to shame. Such craftsmen are only human beings. 
Let them all come together and take their stand. They will be brought down to terror and shame. As such, God rebuked the idol makers. All of God's creation was to obey and believe in God only. Therefore, God told the people to turn to him. God said that if they repented, God would turn away his anger. Fourth point, God used Assyria, Babylon, Persia as his tools to manage a kingdom of priests. God said to Isaiah that he would use Cyrus II of Persia to make the captives of the Babylonian Empire return to Jerusalem in order to restore them. Later on, God used Cyrus II in Persia to write a decree to command this. God had prepared Cyrus II with plans to restore the Jerusalem temple and also the Jerusalem city. God governs history. God's plan eventually became implemented for the people of South Judah. No matter how strong or powerful the empire was, they could not overrule God. Cyrus II and the Persian Empire were used for God's joy, and we too should pray with hopes to bring joy to God's vision. Fifth point, in order to let everyone know that God managed the whole world, God used Cyrus II of Persia. God showed Isaiah how the Babylon captivity contained hope. Any of his people among you may go up to Jerusalem in Judah and build the temple of the Lord, the God of Israel, the God who is in Jerusalem, and may their God be with them. There was a reason why God laid the Persian Empire and Cyrus II. God explained that he would use Cyrus II in order to show how God governed over all the kings and all the empires. God furthermore told Isaiah that he was the God of salvation. It does not matter where you are from or what gender you are, or how much prestige you have when it comes to God's salvation. It all comes down to whether you have faith in God or not. Later on, St. Paul confessed that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledged that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 